this academic path that used to be like the only path. We used to talk as if, well, you're going to be a graduate student, you're going to be a postdoc, you're going to, you're going to become a professor, you're going to get tenure, that's your, your sort of life. Biology is much broader than that now. Um, we, have, we have a real industry in biology, not just in healthcare, but now in, in material science. The, um, we have a, a current administration writing reports about the bioeconomy, about how we're going to run out of, well, not run out of, but Petro is, is limited, and uh, we're going to use biology more and more as a basis for Chemi the chemical industry, the fuel industry, uh, plastics industry, you know, all the, all this stuff. So the industrial opportunities in biology are are large. The the need for economists, for lawyers, for um, policy people who have experience in the biological sciences is large. Um, the need for teachers in high schools, um, the need for journalists, the need you know, just there's a a biology degree or quantitative biology degree or a computational degree, a mathematics degree, there's so many different ways uh, that one can use that PhD these days. Um, uh, it's sort of fun, I don't, I don't know how to put it. I see a lot of people worried about how they're going to use their PhD and people complaining, oh, the job prospects are really, really poor. And there are aspects of that that are, that are not good and need, need a lot of work. Um, but at the same time, there's so much more than just a sort of professorial track that's available to people. And one of the things I think we need to do as a community is make sure that people uh, know that and uh, uh, treat those paths as just as prestigious as the traditional path to, to becoming a professor and having your own lab.